morning, everyone. Good morning. Call roll. Mr. Stein? Here. Mr. Greeno? Here. Mr. Bates? Here. Mr. Carnabucci? And Mr. Legato? Here. Thank you. First step is to approve the agenda, addendum items. <coughs> Second. Thank you. Mr. Greeno? Yes. Mr. Legato? Yes. Mr. Stein? Yes. Mr. Bates? Yes. Next up is to approve or amend the meeting minutes for June 17, 2024. Second. That is a motion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Frank, did you second? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any questions on those minutes? No, we'll call the vote. Approve the meeting minutes June 17, 2024. Mr. Stein? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Legata? Yes. Mr. Bates? Yes. And Mr. Green? Yes. Okay, next up is the presentation of the financial statement for the month of June 2024. Don, we go for our fund balances, please. For the month of June, the general fund had a beginning balance of four million. $657,459 and an ending balance of $4,173,258. The land improvement fund had a beginning balance of $1,912,802 and an ending balance of $1,000,000. $859,605. All funds combined had an ending balance of $6,032,863. Thank you, Dawn. You're welcome. Any questions on the monthly financial statement? All right, very nice. We'll be entered into the record. Next up, next up is a presentation of the payment report. The payments paid in the month of June. We'll take a second to look at that. And entertain any questions on the payments made in the month of June. Thank you. 
Business, Resolution 3, 2024, Enterprise Fleet Management Agreement. Uh, memo for me to the commissioners at our April 15, 2024 meeting, Resolution Number 3, 2024, a resolution to establish a fleet management program with Enterprise Fleet Management it was presented. The resolution was tabled and later discussed at our June 17, 2024 meeting as old business. Rather than reconsider the program, I'm requesting the commissioners cast a no vote on the resolution in order to remove it from old business. And we as staff will continue to look at viable options for vehicle fleet management. So uh, that is my proposal. So thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Any questions and comments? Not cut cap, call vote. Um, remember, I'm asking for no vote. So Mr. Legata? No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stein. No. And Mr. Bates. No. And Mr. Green. No. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. All right, we'll jump into new business. One item for new business. Uh, and we did have a last minute addition of a truck we were trading in as soon as the board packet went out. Uh, we, we received we received a, a word from Preston that our new truck is in. So we've got to trade in. I've got a copy of the memo for you, Barb. So that to you after the meeting. So, um, three items listed as surplus property and Osprey interpretive sign. Item is defective, so scrap. Two old town Heron junior kayaks. Um, item being declared scrap. Items. And last but not least, 2015 GMC Sierra K2500. We are trading that in. Request the motion to declare those items surplus property. So, second. Thank you. Any questions? I'll call the vote. Mr. Bates? Yes. Mr. Carino? Yes. Mr. Legata? Yes. And Mr. Stein? Yes. Okay. Thank you. We'll be right on to commissioner's time. A few items for commissioner's time and some pictures to show you. So we will start with some pictures of Nature Adventure Day Camps. <coughs> These are our day camps that are assisted by our seasonal staff out of our naturalist department. They've been a huge success this summer with virtually all sessions for the entire summer at full capacity. And these pictures, oh, those are these pictures, <laughs> that were submitted by one of our camp naturalists, Olivia Hall. <laughs> Great. Good to see our young people out enjoying our, our parks, our recreational and, and nature inspired opportunities. So, yeah, a big success. All right, next up, show you a few pictures related to uh, our nature writing contest. So last Tuesday, Joggle Park District celebrated the successes of 14 nature writers with 42 of their guests during our 29th annual nature writing contest winter celebration that was held at Clarendon Woodlands. All winners are invited to this event to offer readings of their work, accept remarks from the categories, judge, and accept cash prizes for first, second, and third place winners. Prizes that were in most cases doubled for the past few years thanks to the support of Foundation for Joggle Parks. Also, for a second consecutive year, a correlation can be drawn between these enhanced prizes and two years of record-breaking entry totals. Last year, 222, and this year, 351 entries. The 2024 contest inspired 105 adults, 83 adolescents, and 163 children to write about nature. Congratulations again to all the winners whose winning poetry and prose is still published on our website's news and updates page. Thanks again to the Foundation for Chicago Parks for its generous returning support. Here we go. I want to look at them. Thank you, boys. Uh, that's all right. If you can. And while he's doing that, Right. 
to Sandy Ward, our marketing manager. Uh, she heads up this, this project initiative, and uh, she does a wonderful job in inspiring, inspiring these, these right the written submissions, for poetry and All right, and last but not least, from our Naturalist Department, from May 25th through the month of June, 754 people reserved boats at Headwaters Park. We had 273 people using the high ropes course at Clarence Woodlands. Also in the month of June, 97 programs were held for a total of 1,696 programs and 1,277 patrons visited the West Woods Nature Center. I'm sorry, the attendance was 1,696. <laughs> if they did that many programs in the month of June, it's <laughs> something. So. All right, so that's from staff. Anything from the commissioners? All right, thank you. Anything to propose for executive session? I don't have anything. Okay. So we will move on to the announcement of the next board meeting. The next board meeting is Monday, August 19th at 8.30 a.m. I also want to announce that we have a records retention meeting, as is the case each August, typically, and that records retention meeting will be at the same location at 8.15 in the morning. So just prior to the Monday, August 19th, 8.30 a.m. So Ray, I'll meet you here for the record retention meeting, and Mr. Hicks as well here on that day. So <coughs> that is it. Anything else? If not, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Second. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bates. Yes. Mr. Stein. Yes. Mr. Greeno. Yes. Mr. Yes. All right, thank you, everyone. Have a good day.